Well, the government cannot mandate what types of vehicles auto makers sell in the U.S., but the Clean Air Act does allow the government to limit how much pollution is generated by the number, total number of cars the automaker sells. In a move that's sure to draw legal challenges, the EPA is proposing a new limit which is so tight, the only way auto manufacturers can meet them is to switch their cars to zero emission vehicles. CBS 13, Skylar Henry has more from D.C. The Biden administration announced tough new emissions standards Wednesday aimed at cutting pollution and increasing sales of electric vehicles. I'm pleased to announce that EPA is proposing the strongest ever federal pollution technology standards for both cars and trucks. If the proposed rules are enacted, the EPA estimates that by 2032, 67% of all passenger vehicles sold such as cars, trucks and SUVs will be electric. 50% of vocation vehicles like buses and garbage trucks and 25% of long haul freight trailers will be electric as well. Today's actions will accelerate our ongoing transition to a clean vehicles future, tackle the climate crisis head on and improve air quality for communities all across the country. The EPA says its rules would help avoid 10 billion tons of CO2 emissions. That's about two years worth of CO2 emissions in the U.S. But some say the proposals are moving too fast for automakers to handle. The question we have to ask right now, are we ready to scale smart with the auto industry? Larry Burns is a former GM executive and auto industry advisor. He says the EV market is still young and there's a lot more to learn before they take over the market. This is tough, tough work to do. And to go from where we are today in the U.S. to two-thirds of our, our vehicles being um, uh, battery electric vehicles by 2030 to 2032, boy, that's a, that's a pretty big ask. The government will also have to scale up the infrastructure to ensure all of the electric vehicles on the road can recharge when necessary. And last year, just under 6% of all new cars sold were electric vehicles. Electric trucks accounted for fewer than 2% of new trucks that were sold.